Forget Made in Chelsea, The Only Way is Essex and Georgie Shaw. A new reality show is in town starting last week. MTV have come up with X on the Beach. Joining me now on the phone is the beautiful Chloe Goodman to talk more about the show. Good afternoon, Chloe. Afternoon, how are we? I'm good, how are you? Feeling a little bit fragile, are I can't lie. Go on, tell everyone so where you were back. last night. <laughs> Um, we went out in Brick Lane and then back, obviously, to the West End, which is nice. For those that don't know, what is X on the Beach about? I didn't know it was called X on the Beach when I first joined, obviously, because that would just give away the whole programme. So what did you show. know as, and then, to so talk us to the present, so you signed up sure. for the show, what did you think it was? We thought it was called Summer of Love, so it was um, pitched to us as four girls, four guys, all in this, having a luxury holiday, um, doing things you'd never usually do whilst all getting close to each other and, you know, finding out each other's personalities and seeing how things go or whatnot. Obviously, there's no push on things. Um, and I just thought, you know what, why not? Um, so I went on it. <laughs> and then, little did I know, as soon as you started to become close and develop, develop nice friendships with people, they, um, your ex came to that the water. <laughs> just to put a spanner in the works. <laughs> yeah, which kills it on a massive level. It makes the show. It's brilliant for you guys. Terrible, oh, I love it. it. Absolutely. I was watching it last week going, oh my God, this is the, my favourite new show. This is amazing. I didn't mind mine coming in because I'm still friends with him. Um, so Your mine dear, was too bad. Yeah, but it was very, I can understand it was very confusing to the viewers because we weren't actually together together. He was a really good friend of mine and then we got close, um, which I fully regretted, as you could probably tell on the show. <laughs> And then, so yeah, and then he came in saying we had unfinished business, which couldn't be further from the truth. Okay, so what is the truth then, Chloe? Nothing, we're just friends. And then, obviously, um, they started bringing in more ex and things like that, but Rossi's a cool guy. Well, but I just don't like him on that level. Okay, so you got close to him, um, obviously, yeah. previously. How did you feel yeah, then yeah. when he turned up? Because, obviously, you've got used to a show. You know you're dating other guys now. Were you worried about dating other people because he was there and he knows what you're like and you can't, you know, you've gone onto a show, no one knows who you are. Yeah. You can facade and go, hey, I'm Chloe, where you <laughs> might be really quiet. So, like, you can't, you can't, you know, keep a clean slate when they chuck an exit, can you? <laughs> so what, what, what happened? What's going through your head? Were you thinking, oh, well, I want to make a new self or were you always as you are? I was, I was as I was. I thought, as soon as you started cracking on with the Vicky, um, I found that quite disrespectful on her behalf just because, you know, we've been friends for ages and we hadn't even spoken because he went straight to the beach on a, on a date with Vicky. So I hadn't seen him for, for months, but we'd always been friends. So it would have been nice to have seen how things were and, you know, um, have a catch up. But Vicky put her tongue down his throat before I could even get a chance to do that. So, Literally yeah. put her tongue down his throat. Literally, I know. Talk about mouth raising. <laughs> God, you can say whatever you want here, Chloe. So did Ross kind of prevent your confidence at all, or were you still this outgoing person that you wanted to be? Um, I think the whole show in general, checks. obviously when you're put into a completely different dynamic or something, it's really difficult to, you know... To, to find your grass and find your feet and then obviously I was an unlucky one because they bunged Rossi in within 24 hours of me being there so I found it really difficult to then create friendships or get close to people because I didn't want to give people the wrong idea yeah yeah um but then towards the end as I mean a really good friend of mine Shelby because we've become really good friends since the show oh we know it's um, in Daily Mail every week you two parts I know together. I know we're now on the sofa here. <laughs> I think they put Shelby in thinking we weren't going to get on. And then, you know, I had my doubts before Shelby came into the show because of it, rumours were flying around like they do in the house and they try and they try and put you off people before they arrive and their plan failed basically with him. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you've got friendly with the cast and, you know, yeah. you started off as eight of you, you all got friendly and you had four girls, four boys. Yeah. How did you feel then going on dates with their exes then? Because, you know, there's a sister code, you know, you and Vicky could be friends, but then obviously Vicky's gone off and got Ross. Like, is there That's a code the there? Like, it's not that sort of show. Like, when you're on Tower and things, you create friendships with the girls, whereas we've been in the past, we don't know each other, so there is no sisterhood. And then it becomes difficult because everyone's very unsure with relationships with other people. So. I became close with other people. Their ex would come in and 
in my head because I've become close to this person I forget it's his ex-girlfriend yeah. because you've never met them before so it is really difficult in that sense to remember you know be respectful really really well because to you you've all just met mm. Mm. so it's, it's really really strange but it's brilliant to watch obviously you went to maybe find a bit of love on TV and you do do modelling yeah how do you feel then being in the media to do something that people might consider to be a private thing to find love to show your body off is there a line do you draw a line at a certain level or you know what, talk to me about how you feel about being you know in the public kind of like that how it was to begin with it's just a normal holiday so you see people in bikinis all the time so I didn't show my body off in a, in a bad way or in a bad light I didn't do anything in the show that I regretted um, you forget that the cameras are there if I'm completely honest with you because you're there for quite a, like you're there for a long time so me going on holiday, like I said, I knew that I was going on a, a show and it was to do with dating and things like that. And I just thought it was going to be a really great experience because how often do you get eight people from all different walks of life and all up and down the country who you are never going to meet and who are all in, hot. in one in one villa? I just thought it'd be a really, really um, like amazing opportunity to meet so many different people. Mm. But like I said, personalities clash. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so, along with the other girls, were you all trying to outdo each other and be the best girl for all the boys to fancy then? I don't know. I found that a lot of the girls followed Vicky's footsteps just because they felt safe following... Because she's known behind. from Georgie yeah. Shaw, though? Or... I think they thought that she might know something that they didn't about the show. Interesting. So, whatever she did, sort of, they followed suit, which I didn't respect at all. Um, I'm more of a be-your-own-person, I like you. Yeah. Even if you're... I'll find something good in someone, you know? I found people lost their own personalities through following hers. Last week in episode one, we had Marco and Liam have a little fight. So yeah. are there going to be lots of dramas then? It's not... Um, it's not like Geordie Shaw where it gets too physical and things like that. Like I say, alcohol is involved in the show, but it's never, it's never on that level. Yeah. Um, of course, there's going to be arguments and things like that. People's exes coming in with different feelings and different emotions, and everything heightens when you're in a villa together. And yeah, a lot of drama happens for sure, and it's extremely entertaining from, from your <laughs> Good. point of view. Not so, too much to live with. <laughs> yeah. We know you like to be in control, and yeah. um, we know that you like dating. So I thought we could go on a little radio date together. So okay. this is the first time that you, as a girl, are going to choose where we're going on our dates. So where are we going? We can go quad biking. Okay. Are and we going to be showing in the um, seat or are we going on two separate ones? No, uh, two separate ones. Two separate, okay. We'll start easy, then, okay. Then we can race, otherwise you lose the fun of it. So yeah, um, and then following with dinner because then you can get to know someone on a more serious level. Okay, and where are we going for dinner? <laughs> Take a flight over to LA. Take a flight over to LA okay. and have dinner in Novi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what are we going to be eating? I'm really easy to please, you know. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> but we might not be able to do it in one day, you know. We might struggle with that. I might not be able to afford it in one day, let alone do it all in one day. <laughs> so what are we going to be eating for dinner? I'm wrong with a bit of sushi. A bit of sushi? Oh, I love a bit of sushi. What's your favourite? <laughs> I love the sushi salmon rolls. Oh, no, but I don't like the seaweed. I like a duck and cucumber yuramaki or a uh, salmon skin yuramaki. Oh, you don't taste that like seaweed. Oh, person. If you had one question to ask, what's your question you ask on dates then? That's a tough one, you know. Thank you. What is the one question you'd ask on a date? That's a tough one. I don't really like... I just like getting to know the person. There's not really one question that you definitely always ask, I don't think. I think what's important is to establish when they... I mean, I don't like talking about exes, but I think it is important to establish when they last got out of their relationship because you don't... What last thing you want to do is get involved in something and you don't know how their past history type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Maybe that. Well, that could be a good question. <laughs> and, uh, Probably an awkward question. Like, you can imagine it would go pretty silent, maybe. I shouldn't say Hi, that. I'm Chloe. So, how many, you know, what was your last relationship with, really? <laughs> I mean, we could order first, but no, we'll go on with that question <laughs> first. Drink? No. When was your last relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Chloe, for talking to me on Scratch Radio today. Good night at 10 o'clock, MTV.